Hello everyone, welcome back to another handpan tutorial. My name is Mark Martin and today I want to show you how to play this pattern. to subscribe because every Wednesday there is a new handpan snack, a new handpan lesson coming. And if you want to get further on your handpan journey, definitely check out my masterclass and also my handpan studio. Both are amazing programs to really enrich your playing and dive deep into this topic. So let's begin. As always, we're gonna break it down. I'm playing on a D chord 10. If you play on another scale, just try to adapt. This one is really easy to adapt because it's more rhythmical and I'm sure you will have a great time also with another scale. So what I, what I do, I play this very simple rhythm for the beginning. My dominant hand goes on the ding and then we count like this. One and two and three and four and one. hand pattern which means that I constantly play the right and the left hand after each other and basically I only have the accents on the one and here also on the one like the sound of the slap so much I can also do a knock. And if you have trouble to find when are the impulses coming? Then bounce with your body. Rhythm always is created in the body, not in the mind. And it's not necessary to count and all. Boom. Pam. Let yourself go in this. If you manage to play this in that tempo, we can move on. If you feel like unclear and unsure when, yeah, when the impulse is coming, just keep on doing it. Just skip back to the, to the uh, beginning of the video and go with me through it. And the more you do it, the more you, you play this rhythm, the more you practice, there will be a natural body understanding um, arising. And yeah, when you're at the point, we can go to the next step. And this is how it looks like. With my dominant hand, I was playing the ding, then I was playing the shoulder, and I, then I was playing the slap, and then again back to the shoulder. With my non-dominant hand, I was constantly playing the shoulder. So the perfect thing to, to be replaced, because the shoulder is not really necessary um, for, for the groove, I could also play. And you would still feel the rhythm. It only adds a bit of drive. 
So what I can do is to move my hand from uh, the shoulder, my non-dominant hand, which is not playing the ding in the slap, but only the shoulder. Uh, I move it from the shoulder to tone field number two. And then I do exactly the same as I did before. One and two. it's always more fun if I add another bass note or another chord. Um, I want to change from tone field number one and number two to tone field number one. And then um, the pattern sounds like that. with the rhythm in a loop together with me. One and two and three and four and 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 two. example we can um, replace the slap with a melody note of my choice I will show you how it sounds one and two and three and four and one and you how this can sound and where you can go with this. stuff to be done and if you want to yeah get to know how to do the fill-ins and all the special stuff that I added in the in the end make sure to check out my handpan studio and also my mastery class I'm talking a lot about different topics and yeah also about fill-ins and all that stuff so thanks for joining and I hope you enjoyed this video let me know how it was for you and see you soon next Wednesday for the next Hampen Snack. Much love.